Hi there guys, welcome to the introduction of SolidWorks Step 10 and I'm going to be talking about this feature over here called Revolve Boss Base. Now you'll notice it's grayed out for the moment. That's because I haven't got any profile to feature. So I'm going to go ahead and create a profile to feature by going to my line function or my line tool and I'm going to just create a center line around which I'm going to be revolving my shape. Okay, there it is there. I'm also going to be selecting my spline just to make it a little bit more interesting. I'm going to make sure it's touching the line and I'm going to have a nice little curve happen over here just as spline allows me to like so. Remember before in one of the previous videos I used the same example to mirror my shape. In this case here yeah, I want to use this profile to actually cause a, an, a revolved body around this axis. So I'm going to go to the feature Revolve Boss. You'll see that this little guy comes up, a dialog box. The sketch is currently open. A non-thin revolution feature requires a closed sketch. Would you like to sketch uh, the sketch to be automatically closed? Um, you can say yes on that. Okay, so that'll give you the preview as so. And you'll see that that actual profile there is being used to create the revolve body. There it is there. I'm going to swivel it around nicely for you to have a good look at it. All right. Um, yet again, remember with a revolve body, we can go and determine the degree of rev revolution. So I'm going to go and open up this revolution ever so slightly. Let's see what we end up with over there. Now you can see it's going to open up that little guy there like I've cut a piece out of the pie and I'm going to select the OK button. OK, so you can see that I've got a nice cut out of it and then it's a nice solid piece. All right, I could also go ahead and section this and I'm going to show you that this is a nice solid piece of body. OK, there we go. All right, so now that I've done that, I'm going to show you guys how we're going to go about the thin feature. Now, in step nine, we use the thin feature quite nicely. And um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how we're going to go do the same shape as a thin feature. So, all over again, I'm going to go cl click on new, double click on part. I'm going to select my top view in my actual design tree, say show, select again normal to. Then I'm going to go ahead and draw the actual profile. So I'm going to go and select my line, center line to refer to, and draw the actual line. I'm then going to go to my spline tool while I'm in editing mode. And I'm going to make sure I'm making contact with the line. And I'm just going to draw a nice little profile and make sure it touches the line. Okay, in this case over here, I want to select it, which means it might not even come up with that dialog box that I have up there that uh, came up before. I'm going to highlight this, say features. Remember, you'd have to highlight it, make it nice and light blue so that my feature could actually pop up. And I'm going to collect or select revolved in this case, it does come up with that message again. I'm going to say yes, and it's going to give me my preview. Right, there's my preview. This shows you how easy uh, this does actually make life. I can go ahead now and select thin feature in the actual revolve options tray, and you'll be able to see over here that I can make it a certain thickness. I'm going to select two millimeters. All right and I'm going to keep it at 360 degrees or let's maybe change that to 330 okay I'm going to select that clearly has a bit of a problem with it I'm going to change this to one millimeter let's see if it has the same problem as a thin feature yes it does let's change this back to 360 degrees and I'm going to change this here and 
revolve around that line. Let's play around. Am I going blindly? Yes, I am. Let's go around again. It clearly does not like what I'm doing. I've selected this button over here because it wants me to go in one direction. Look if I go in the other direction. It just wouldn't allow me to do it. Okay. So if you keep having an issue, try selecting a different line. Maybe having, obviously being the revolved or the axis of revolution, it might not have been the right line. I might have had this spline line selected in this uh, category over here. Just keep looking at what the option boxes want you to do exactly. And in this case over here, if I change the actual revolution direction, you can see they're clearly giving me the body, which is my preview and which shows me that it is possible to make. I'm going to be happy with that and say OK. And in this case, I want to show you guys that this is a thin view or a thin body. Now, there's no way of seeing it except for when I go ahead and section it, just like I did with the other one. The other one was nice and solid. Here you can see that it has actually got a wall thickness over there, a wall thickness of about, I think it was one or two millimeters that I've set it at. Okay, if I had to pull this down, you'll see that it actually runs right through and it makes this object ho a hollow object. Also helps when you are going to be 3D printing hollow objects. Um, it helps you save on material um, if you need it to be hollow. All right, there we go. Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed step 10 and on revolution or revolve boss base.